A loss of an historic building right in the middle of the U District. Many of you watched our live stream on King5.com as those flames shot out of the Seven Gables Theater happened just after noon today. As you can see, that fire was really intense, giving firefighters only one option to fight it from outside. And good evening. Thanks for joining us on this Christmas Eve. I'm Jessica Janner Castro. And I'm Steve Bunin with you. Take a look at the theater now. Most of the flames are out, just hollowed out from above. The theater is destroyed and what's left of the building is probably just smoldering. If you're not familiar with the Seven Gables Theater, it was a Seattle community staple for decades. It's on the northwest corner of Roosevelt Way and Northeast 50th Street, pretty close to the University of Washington. And that's where our Paris Thomas is tonight. So Paris, although it's this historic theater, it had been closed for about two, three years now. Yes, that's right. The building had actually been closed for business since about 2017, and it was designated as a landmark back in 2018. So lots of people walking by expressing how sad they are to see a piece of history burn down. But if you take a look behind me, you'll see crews are still on the scene, spraying the building down with water and monitoring for flare ups as they are still unable to get inside of the building. And crews have been here for several hours since this fire started, and we're told about 175 firefighters were called to help get things under control. Now they have been fighting it from the outside because the smoke is preventing them from being able to see inside and they're still uncertain how strong the floors are since the building has been vacant for so long and neighbors on edge as this fire has disrupted their households on Christmas Eve. If you live within half a mile of the area, I do recommend closing your windows and doors just to prevent smoke inhalation. Please avoid this intersection until it's fully clear. It's Christmas Eve. I have to leave my apartment because there's smoke in there. But what aggravates me the most is that they've known that people have been in this building for months and they refuse to get them out. Now, the good news is there were no reported injuries and crews will be out here all night monitoring the fire for flare ups. And uh, we'll have much more on this in our later shows. For now, live in Seattle, Paris Thomas. King 5 News. All right, thank you, Paris.